Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy's Tech Tips. Uh, this is a kick to special Tech Tips on features that you may have missed, uh, under the hood things that uh, you may not realise are there, and, or ways to speed up your work for flow and create better kicks. Uh, this is one area that uh, we see in customer service all the time and even when I'm getting guys to create courses and tell them about this feature they go, oh wow, this is really cool. Uh, and it's the generate, or sorry, render area. So I'm just going to go to, uh, just load up the default. So there we go, we have a default kick. And if you're somebody who likes to work in WAV, uh, or print, you know, the, the kick, we can generate a WAV copy very, very easily and just drag and drop into your timeline. It, it can, you know, it can be tighter timing if you're really stickler for timing. If you're sending out remix stems and you need the kick, you know, to send to somebody to remix the track or you want to share a particular kick or, or something, you know, we can generate a, a WAV version of the kick uh, and very, very easily. So we go to the render and we hit uh, generate. And it now has generated a version of this kick. So if I drag and drop it, this is the original. Oh. Please work. There you go. And this is now our rendered version. So it's an exact copy uh, of the, the rendered version. A couple of things we need to note is if you have key tracking switched on, so we'll switch on key tracking for uh, this particular kick. Then the key, if you want it as normal, you need to generate it at C1. So we drag and drop again. So it's a, it's a proper copy. If we generate it at say C2, C3, and drag and drop, So you see we have a pitched version and that's because we have uh, key tracking this little uh, keyboard icon switched on for the sub and the click. So that's that's the, the key tracking and velocity. So let's switch off key tracking and velocity. We can turn down the velocity and hit generate. Now, or turn up the velocity, hit generate. And it's generating the same wav. But if we turn up velocity here and we turn down velocity here, so that's applying a velocity to the kick. And we hit generate. There we get a lot, a quieter version of the kick. So that's something to note. The key uh, will only generate uh, render with the key if these icons are switched on. And velocity will only apply, be applied if this velocity is turned up here. Uh, the other thing to do, we can export it to, you know, whatever uh, folder we want. Uh, and previously, if I've just rendered this, if I've changed a few things, right, and, and done all this and hit generate and then went, oh, no, let's turn up velocity and go like this and change the pitch and then change the amp to this and hit generate and do this and hit generate. And I kind of went, oh, no, I really love that previous kick. Well, all these... Every time we hit generate, we have a temporary folder uh, where the kicks are placed. And if you go to, on a Mac, if you go to library, your user library cache is kick two. Here we have all those kicks that we generated. So there's the one with the kick. So they're all stored there in the temporary cache. Now, again, over the course of using this for various months, you can, this folder can get quite full. Now, the, the file sizes are very, very smaller, you know, 127 kilobytes. But if you go into settings, and you can hit this button, clear cache, and this will clear out all these temporary uh, WAV versions of kicks that you've created. So we clear cache, and that's it gone, and it's cleared out. But if you're ever looking for a kick and you want to roll back a few kicks, in that folder in user library caches kick two, you will find uh, those uh, generated kicks. Uh, again, you can export or just drag and drop into your timeline. If we can just go to. Drag and drop. There we go. And if we make a change. There 
that change won't be updated until we regenerate the WAV. And there you go, there's the updated one there. Okay guys, I hope that helps uh, looking at the render section in Kick2. Speak to us all very, very soon. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.